glad you're here because so like we're kind of like the same bro? height and everybody oh, yeah. everybody else is a fucking yeah, giant. Yeah, yeah. Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, today should be a really fun one. This is a collab I've been waiting for for a long time and it is with Tall Guy Car Reviews and uh, we are on our way there right now. Should be really fun. Let's do it. Thing sweet. I love the wrap collar. What's up, buddy? I was like, I think I see him. That's got to be him. Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, thanks, man. Dude, that thing looks sweet. Love it. It looks clean after that big journey. Absolutely. Uh, pretty much. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure where they're gonna be, so we'll just turn around and go back in the parking lot and wait. Right, Sounds good. Right. The Hellcat just made like a 20 hour journey to be here, and it looks really, like he must have washed it when he got here because it looks really clean. And uh, we're gonna bang the U-turn here. It says no U-turns, but nobody's here on campus today anyway, so it should be fine. And then we're, <laughs> then we're meeting up with the rest of uh, the little crew. The tire letter says Hell Keezy. I love it. What's up, man? I don't even want to do this because I know you're like seven feet tall and I'm over. Look at it. Look at this. Look at hey, man, this. we are here with the street speed 717s and all that, man. Look at it. Say what's up to you, man. What's up, man? How are you guys doing? I always wanted to ask, and I always yes. wanted, how the hell do you hold your GoPro like that? Because he got the GoPro stabilizer, man. I had the GoPro with yeah. suction cup and all that. And, uh, Dude, it's it an was, acquired it, skill. Right. But you got to literally, it's, that's a real art. Because you do, you, you have to hold it like this. Yeah. You got to hold it like you got to, like you have an issue with your hand because. Yeah, hold a muscle. Because yeah. you, yeah. yep. you know what, the microphone yep. is so sensitive, you got to like any little, you hear any little muscle. Yeah, and that's why actually I took the, uh, if you notice, I took the cover off. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, that, now okay. that gets rid of your waterproofing, obviously, but that's how you get that. You know how like it makes that fishbowl noise yeah, when you touch? It. That's what does it, yeah. those covers. Oh, I didn't know that. Nice. That's crazy. I thought the microphone was like up top or on the bottom type, so I never knew where the hell the. They look all over. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. He laid out but the you got the, the G7X, which is very nice. I just upgraded though. It's, it's nice. Me, I, but now, ever since I did, I was so kind of stuck in my GoPro way. You know what I'm saying? Which I yeah. got from you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, it's so easy. I know. And that's why I do it. And then you're used to it already, so you don't really want to adapt. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But right. now that I got it though, I'm like, damn, I should have did this yeah. a long time ago. You know well, what I'm maybe that should be my next step. I feel like that should. Because everyone's don't always, there's, there's always the comments. They're like, dude, please get yeah, a real camera. Oh, yeah, you can camera. see the no, screen. Yeah. Listen, man, the blueprint. Oh, by the uh, way, Mike, nice to meet you. Mr. Organic, I know. Mr. Organic, oh, I know. Official move. All right. We kind of nice got dangled up at the beginning. Yeah, we did. This dude laid out the blueprint for the go for it. Never thought I'd become a YouTuber. The reason why I did when I said when I thought I was going to, when I had the conversation with me at work, because I used to work, it's a long story, but anyway, sure. Um, <laughs> it's a long story. Yeah, his GoPro, <laughs> and I used to always watch his videos, so it was kind of something I just kind of like duly just picked up on. So by the time I said I was going to make a few videos on YouTube and put it out there, I just got the GoPro, and his whole blueprint was laid out there for the way I made the thumbnails to everything. Now, I'm my own way. Don't get it twisted and jacked up. But his blueprint was laid out there, and I kind of just twisted it and put it in my own way. Just like I'm humbled should. by the fact that you said that you watched me and that inspired you to make videos. That's freaking yeah, awesome. I mean, that's all. I mean, I try to do that for everybody. It's for everybody yeah, I meet. I'm like, don't get it, they, don't, they don't understand that you gotta have somebody like give you that, that seed to run with it. True, yeah. Trees. Yeah, for me, it was uh, Subaru WRX fan back in the day, yeah. Matt Moran. I watched Motor. all his videos too. I watched yep. literally everybody, but it all started with you though. I watched your videos, and then I, I remember I told them about your videos, and then from there, we just nice. watched some joints together. And then after that, I kind of just, everybody else I started subscribing to after. And then I just was, then I became a YouTube, avid YouTube watcher. I was already watching YouTube a lot, uh -huh. but then I became like subscribing when the notification popped up, I was watching. So that's why I always tell people to subscribe because a lot of people, I didn't know how to subscribe to people for years. I was just watching, you know what I mean? Whatever True, yeah. Up on the homepage. Exactly. And I, I get people like that. They'll be like, I've been watching you for two years and I finally subscribed. I was like, yeah. well, sure. well, thanks, but, yeah, but <laughs> what, what the hell? Thank you know, yeah. but I appreciate it, yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Especially people that come to you in person. Oh man, I watch your channel all the time. 
you grab their phone or something to take a picture and they go to the channel. They're, they're not subscribed. Oh, let me get that, man. Get that shit. <laughs> that was Remember? So what was, was that last night? Affinity Live. Yeah, yeah. We okay. were there watching the fight. Did you watch the fight last night? Yes, I did. Oh, it was man. wild, dude. Who did you think was going to win? I was rooting for McGregor just because I love the guy, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I mean, it was, I mean, it was a good fight. Yeah. Guy, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I knew, like, Khabib, and then you disrespect the man religion and all that, bro. He deserved the beat he got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Before that, though, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But when he started to lose, I felt so bad for him. I'm like, damn, I wanted him to win. I was I'm always rooting for the underdog. You know, Drake was probably crying. Yeah, yeah. After holding I saw him oh, come yeah. out with the flag. I was like, oh, wow. here we go. He was full yeah. barbaric. Yeah. He, didn't <laughs> he, know he probably didn't even know about Khabib, nothing about him. He, he got a rude awakening. Yeah. yeah. Facts. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, I didn't even know. No, and after he the fight was wild, wild the guy came in and like. With bears at four years old. That's that. apparently. Well, yeah. they're he's Russian, dude. They yeah. do that, cra they they do that crazy level. shit. You know, the aftermath was crazy. Yeah, yeah was, the guy jumped in the ring and like hit Connor in the back of the head. Connor didn't do first though on the ring. He was on the ring part trying to jump over and the guy was jumping too. He looked at him and hit him first. Connor's a savage. It's wild. Yes. Dude got him up behind, but the first two he not. And you gotta back. understand how much of a, a beast McGregor is. So uh, Khabib wrestles with bears and all that other stuff, right? Both of them are legendary dudes. <laughs> he he I keep wrestles back with to the bears. bears, right? Because the bears is crazy. Well, Mayweather's not that dumb though. He's not going in there. No, no, no question. He's not. He's not stupid like no, Connor is. Stupid. But he's stupid. He can read. He can read. He got that right. But. He All he knows is he's not going in the octagon, yeah. which I respect he him for that. that for he's certain. sticking to his sport. He, he, I like he it. He played it like a little bit like he would, but yeah. come on, bro. He's, he's not going in there. He's smart, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't really get in there. You know what I mean? But let's, bro, we got to talk about this, man. All right. Let's talk so about we it. went from the Hellcat v. Washington with the Stingray. I've all gone through stuff. a lot. First, yep. All that, and then you Z06, and then you had, you had about a million damn Z06. I've had a lot of Corvettes. I've had a lot of vehicles, period. Yep. And uh, I, I got into McLaren's like a year ago, and I fucking, the 570 was such a good car that I just fell in love. And yeah, I had, different cars I, too. yeah, it really is. I don't have them like that. They're getting onto them now, but. Yep. You really like got it early. Are you matching the car on purpose, brother? No, brother, my car. I was gonna different. say, dude, okay. you should be driving the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's looking good, but that's my color. My car is, you know, I got a wrap. Yeah, on yeah. I, I thought for a second, I was like, I wonder if he'll bring the vet, but I know, right? Yeah. That's too much, man. No, he ain't with all that driving. Think about it personally. Yeah. What that. do you think of the wheels? Because it, it's 50-50, man. People either love it or hate it. Nah, man, it should just be love. And if you nah. hate it, shut up and don't tell me you hate it. Nah. You know, so just keep it to yourself. Why are you, you worried about my wheels? Get you yeah. some wheels, you bum. Yeah, yeah, facts. Get you some. Yeah, big bum. You got to worry about somebody else. Come on, man. My words, my McLaren, seven you know what I hate though, bro? I hate when people come up to me and they be like, man, hey, listen, man, I love to rap, but no, there is no button. Yeah, that, that's just, classic just though. Up, people bro. say that. Don't give me yep. no button, nothing. Just give me my glory. And whatever you, about your business. Yeah, ain't you, this is how you can tell people ain't never that had is no training. classic. If your mama, if you grew up <laughs> and your mama didn't tell you, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Then I'm sorry, you ain't got home training. So you know, we got the 720, the Hellcat, the Aventador SV is back. Uh, Ryan's car and Mark's green 570s. We have all the we now have all the greens guys We have all the greens. We have accomplished the green car game. Uh, we literally have like I feel like we have dark in between and then the lightest one there and really Napier like is in between those two if you combined Mantis and I forget what color the Lambo is. If you combine those two, I feel like it would be very, it would be very, very close to the 720 color. And uh, great little lineup here at the farm show building. Hopefully the wind noise. We've got a little bit of a breeze, which is actually nice because it's about 85 degrees in October, but I'm not complaining. Um, and we should be having some fun today, I would assume. And big thank you to Tall Guy Car Views, of course, for making the journey out here in Mr. Organic. If you guys don't follow them, check them out. Always fun videos. I've been watching him for a long time. And like he said, it's pretty awesome that, you know, maybe I inspired him a little bit to make videos himself. So uh, definitely check him out, give him a follow. And uh, we'll see what we uh, get into.
first uh, really spirited drive I've done in the 720S. We've got Voodoo Child playing. What a great song. What a great fucking song that is. Especially for like, I don't know, it's a good like driving in a convoy song. Uh, anyway, let me get the windows up for audio purposes, even though it's going to be a little hot. Like I said, it is a uh, really warm day here in Pennsylvania, believe it or not, for like the beginning of October. It's, uh, like it should be like... It should be like 50 degrees by now, but it's 85. It's great though. Um, so my first uh, spirit of drive in the 720. Now we are stuck behind a Ford Fiesta, um, which is kind of a well, a massive bummer to be honest. I got tall guy car views behind me. I got the Aventador SV and the 570 in front of me, and uh, I really haven't I really haven't hooned this thing on back roads yet. I mean, I've done multiple straight line like balls to the wall, give it all it's got, but um, I have not really gotten a feel for it, and the 570, you know, I was very, very comfortable with, like, I could kick that car around corners, um, have fun with it, you know, get everything loose, and it was very, always very controllable. It'll be interesting to see how the 720 does. My prediction is, and it's not really even a prediction, just more like, because I know about the car, I know the 720 has much higher limits. Uh, it's got, the one thing about the 570 is it doesn't have the downforce uh, this car not only does it have it but it has active aero which is you know a huge huge thing when it comes to how a car handles so I know this car I know the limits are going to be a lot more and I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit harder to get it to misbehave but I don't suspect it will be any harder to control when it does um, I think the limits are just gonna be higher and you know I think it'll be just as fun though we'll definitely find out as soon as this fucking fiesta is out of the way we're gonna we're gonna go All right, so we ditched uh, the fiesta and now it's time for some fun and we'll see how the 720 does I mean it's going to be I think it's gonna be pretty it's gonna be pretty crazy but this is definitely a great road and uh, we'll see if the Hellcat can keep up this is gonna be tough for Corey back there in the big Hellcat this is a very tight technical road way right, man but this is an awesome day this is a really really good day so far <laughs> Down. 
It only shows you your speed, your gear, and your rev counter, and that's it. <laughs> I love that ship noise too. Just a little, just a little ding, just a just tiny little bit, just to let you know that you got a shift. And it happens fast in this car too. Like second gear goes by very, very quick. The engine revs so fast, it's pretty insane. It does have a lot of grip. It's got a lot of grip. There's no doubt about that. It's got a lot of grip. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. But you really have to try. Like, I'm trying to get the back end out. And, you, like, it really... Did, I can't believe that it has that much grip. I can't believe it. And the thing about McLaren's, too, is that... You know, you're driving it on a back road like this, it loses all of its size. Not that it's a big car to begin with, but it just loses all that. Like, it is, a, the 720 is pretty wide, it's relatively long, but you don't feel it at all. Like, all you, you feel as if, like, all you got is, like, a foot in front of you, and you might as well have, like, two feet behind you. Like, that's how tight and technical the car feels, and it loves back roads like this. It's really fun to drive. You don't need, even though it's, it's an insanely fast car in a straight line, it's very rewarding to drive on a tight road where you might not ever go over 100 you know you might not ever go over like 80 but it's still very uh rewarding and still really fun the car does a great job of making you think that it's not it's not dangerous you know the car just does a really good job of, of uh making you a good driver great car to drive really good first day to take it out and try it on a back road a good back road and uh, i'm very i'm extremely impressed as you would think you might be with a mclaren 720s but really really impressive we're at sheets for the all-important fuel stop uh, i did burn a lot of it on the trip the hellcat he didn't even need gas which i don't really understand how he he's not i really don't get how he's not out of gas yet and we got clarence over here the whole crew has showed up everybody's vlogging everybody's having a good time and I think we're going to get into some racing here soon. I think we might hit up a little place called Mexico. Uh, but Clarence, of course, with the Lambo Door Corvette, looking good. And uh, it should be fun. It should be fun. I'm trying to get some more people to come out. But it um, should be a good time. Me if I was reached out to me, it was like, bro, you got to get a McLaren. I know. I, I saw everybody wants you to get a McLaren. Do you know what the name it is? What? McLaren. I know. They said you could call it the, Mc you could call it the McLaren. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's Man. the McLaren. Yeah, I'll call it that for sure. That would make perfect sense. Yeah, perfect sense. The McLaren. Mike, I love you, bro. I love you too, buddy. So this is a fun day. Thank yeah, you for coming, yeah, by the way. Thanks for having me again. Man. Oh, of course, dude. I think I think we could definitely get Clarence to 10K, no problem. Yes. Get him there. Okay. Early Christmas, maybe a Thanksgiving pre Halloween present. Yeah, I'll there take you go. It. I'll take it. Shit, dude. Well, this should be this should be interesting. This will be fun. We got Steve here. I'm sorry, bro. Clarence oh wow. All the time, and then never calls me or anything. Wow. And then I see him here. And I message him and then he doesn't respond. He's like, oh, I don't have your number. I did text the wrong person twice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. There's Mr. Organic. How are we doing, guys? And girls? <laughs> Subscribe to Mr. Underscore Organic. Make sure you put a K instead of a C. Yeah, and this guy, he's doing wild shit, by the way. You got to check out You got to check out his channel. The most blessing, the most entertainment you ever absorbed in your life. Please subscribe to my channel. I promise you that. You see my beard? Come on, man. You ever seen one of these? Go to Saturn or something. That's all we're going to see Hey, the only thing cooler than that, though, is this Integra. Oh, that's real. Pop that camera Yeah. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. He can't find the hood latch. Well, there you go, guys. Awesome day. Awesome cars and uh, awesome people. Really cool to collab with uh, Tall Guy Car Reviews. Um, you know, it's awesome to see. I love seeing people do well, and it makes it extra cool when they say like, "Oh, you were the reason I start, or one of the reasons why I started the channel." Makes me feel good. Makes me feel happy. Most of the time, I'm a complete degenerate fucking around with cars. At least maybe I'm doing some good. But anyway, uh, I have a ton of footage to go through, so I'm gonna go edit. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.